Tamu waterfall is getting dry. Hi guys, I'm the four day in Monterrey. Staying with them. Hello. 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 <laughs> Tell your name. <laughs> Mao and Ode. And it's time to say goodbye with them, so I move to the south. And I'm gonna see them in my home in Borneo. Yes. We're gonna welcome them there. Yes. And let's go to the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> I say goodbye to them and I walk to the uh, bus station. Arrive at uh, Monterrey Central Station and I book a bus ticket to Ciudad Valley. So it takes like 7 to 8 hours and I book from that company, Frontera. So it costs about 721 Mexican peso. And I'm gonna spend like three, four nights in uh, Ciudad Valley for exploring the waterfall. And then I head to Mexico City. Um, I have booked my flight to uh, Europe on, I think it's 15th of June. So I'm gonna explore Europe pretty soon. It's time to move on. And yeah, it's my last sunset in Monterrey. You can see the sky is changing color. So yeah. Good night guy and see you guys tomorrow in the waterfall. Good morning guys, welcome to Kitesa um, Tamu Sopo. So you can see this is first waterfall and the second waterfall and then they got a third waterfall behind all that. Um, I arrived here about 8 a.m. this morning and now it's about 10. So it's a lot of people. You can see the kid turn around. The water is pretty clean, but it's not really cold. But it's good enough for refreshing stuff like that. So um, later on, I will go to uh, Kikita Tamu, and yeah, <laughs> you can see a kid is very excited to get to the water. So later on, we'll go to Kikita Tamu and then spend one night there. Um, Tamu is the bigger waterfall in the biggest waterfall in San Luis Potosi. Um, yeah, yesterday was a, yesterday night was a long bus ride, and it's so hot inside the bus, but it's okay. It's a budget, so so. Yeah, you can see a lot of architecture happening here. So it's kind of. Um, a natural, natural environment, yeah. So, yeah. Pretty lovely place to hang out for a couple of hours. So now let's go to Tamu and then um, move on to the drone footage. Let's go. After six kilometer of the walk, I end up arrive to the drive river. So this river is connected to the waterfall, the Tamu waterfall. So it's been dried up, so you can't see any waterfall on this point. So I need to head back to the main road. I need to walk back six kilometer, then go into the town. Pretty tired right now, so it's pretty hot right now. It's about 3 p.m. right now. It's pretty hot. So, yeah, I end up with this thing. Like you see this, the whole river bank is dried up because it's like a, a dry season in Mexico. 
So next month will be a raining season. So yeah, I hope the river gonna fill up with the water. If not, it's a pretty bad thing gonna happen here. So yeah, this the only thing I can show you, the dry river. So let's go to see Likla tomorrow. Almost. waiting for those a tow group to do some jump and then yeah must be fun <laughs> um hi guys after spending one night in shoot advice um i decided to follow moist <laughs> to the waterfall so it's a uh, seven stairs of waterfall up there and then they got like sweet pool and you can see it's a waterfall almost everywhere here and the water is like it's kind of green blue so now I need to head back to Chudat Vice and go to Silitla and spend one night in Silitla see some I don't know it's like crazy architecture thing over there so we'll see and it's pretty cool spot to spend a couple hours here with your family and friend of course and we, we was looking for that you see that the group of people was taking a tour jump from the waterfall stuff like that so I mean you can do by yourself no problem so it's on my way going up to the stairs um, back to Chudabais and take a bus to um, Silitla so vamos so. And another thing is, they got a lot of different kind of activity you can do here. Man's pretty tired. So it's like um, zip line. And another one is, I don't know how to call it. They call it sky bike. So you can cycling on top of the, um, how to say that thing. Like you can cycling on the zip line thing and it look pretty cool if you do it. So now so there's the main road and there's a huge waterfall across the road. So yeah. Uh, and this spot remind me and this place called uh, Marcos. Kikasta Marcos and it remind me like Samuk Champagne in Guatemala so you got some banyos here waterfall I think you can camp over there and we go in without pay so the, um, the owner of the hostel told us we need to pay like 30 pesos but we don't pay anything so, yeah <laughs> we got in free so I can see a lot of there's the jeep line and there's the cycling thing on top of this one um, I'm sorry about the video is pretty bright because I kind of lazy to do the setting so yeah um, see you guys see it um, yeah this uh this is cycling Um, yeah, see that? Those people were cycling on top. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. That's how you earn money in Mexico. Yeah. So, how to get to... 
What the word is for name again? Los Mikos. 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 Okay, because I'm Mikos. So, you need to take Colectivo from Chiravais to Mikos. It costs you like 30 pesos. Um, and then now we're going back to Chiravais and the same driver. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The same driver. driver bring us back to Tunavais and he speaks pretty well English, you know? <laughs> so I'm back to our hostel and take our stuff a little bit, maybe eat some food and then go to Salitla. Yeah, see some crazy shit over there. <laughs> this is an adventure sign, you know what I'm saying? It's an adventure sign. 